part of the game. That is right. We got the next game that's going on right in between. As we're about to be seeing this part of the next matchup, we've got a great one to take. The next matchup in its game four, Atlanta Dream is ready to bring on for its next currency team to face against. It's the Connecticut Sun. Now the better place of this one is going to be turning out to be great wins today. Now there's a lot of them that's going on right in between with the Atlanta Dream and Connecticut Sun. So you're going to find out what happens if there's a change off in between. For the starting lanes for Atlanta Dream is Jordan Canada. Alisa Gray, Rennie Howard, Ben Chayane Parker Tyus, and Tina Charles. The head coach for the Atlanta Dream is Tanisha Wright. And now let's head over to the Connecticut Suns. We have Mr. Tayasha Harris, Gihonia Carrington, Dewana Mona, Alicia Thomas, and Briona Jones. And your head coach for the Sun is Stephanie White. Now, it's supposed to be a great dispatch that we're about to be seeing. Definitely Stephanie Wright also coaches the women's Commodores team of the Vanderbilt the University. There's another way that's going to happen right along the two. And now let's get you covered here at Bohemian Sun Arena, where Blake, Tim, and Brian stand by for the next game. We'll see you all later for the halftime show and the postgame show. Let the games begin. Enjoy. Let's be the starting line of the Cup to the American Sun. At shooting guard, number 21, Dijane Carrington. Starting at the other guard, number 52, Tayasha Harris. Small forward, number 24, Dewana Bonner. Starting at center, number 42, Brianna Jones. At the other forward position, number 25, Alyssa Thomas. And I think her trajectory is clear. 
She's working to improve her shooting percentages and getting back to that elite efficiency we saw at Kentucky. Now here's Gray. Pass to Howard. Five to shoot. Shoots over Barter. The dream again can't hit. That's one she knows she should have drained. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Those chances, usually they're two points for her. The D, I guess, did just a, enough to bother her. She gets that one. No, 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 Howard just sees the floor so two. well, and the good thing is that over time, her court vision is only going to get better. Pass to Harris. First quarter ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Thomas outside. Over Charles. Thomas, no good. The defense can't make a habit of giving her that shot. So she just doesn't miss many of them. It's rebounded by Thomas. Terrific job defending the basket that time. It's not an easy task stopping her when she's headed to the hole. It's good for her second base and two for three so far. And Thomas is used to that kind of contact, playing down in the post. It's going to take a lot more than that to throw her off. On the wing, Alicia Gray. Canada. Back to Gray. Canada, covered by Harris. And here's Ryan Howard from the arc. Drains it from beyond the arc. I love Howard's decision making offensively, especially off the catch right there. Here's Harrington. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Jacks up a three. Can't hit that one. Atlanta trailing here. Out to the wing. Here's Canada. The offensive rebound. Second chance shot. And that one's good. Good. Great ball movement. It ends with Charles making the extra pass. She has a great feel for the game. And here's Harris. Pass to Bonner. Thomas outside. Harris with it. Takes the three. Here's Jones. That's her second shot and her second basket. My math says that's two for two. Well, scoops up the board. Jones knows exactly what to do. Put it back in. Gray with it. Pass to Canada. Outside Howard. And really a heads up play as well. Reads the play nicely and gets in the perfect position. Now Bonner. Thomas outside. Pass to Jefferson. Number three. Two minutes remaining in the first two minutes. The three point numbers of Jefferson, she normally does it. She can run triples, but she shoots it great. The deep seat. And three all time here. One big rule change for the 2023 season the introduction of the transition take foul. I think it's a great move by the league. Uh, I agree, Blake. The transition take foul is when a team is in for starting a fast break. And an opposing player fouls without making an effort on the ball, basically fouling to prevent an open court situation. And while they do count as a common foul on the player, they result in a one free throw shot that any player on the floor can take, plus the ball back. It's really a big rule change. Not fair. Now, why is not really doing really well with the head coach? But some plays, however, it doesn't really mean to what they are expecting to play for now. You know, you, you basically have to know for every ever run, and coach have a worldly credit. But they were really trying to, like, let them do it on their own. You know, playing hard is not always easy when you just do it with a lot of strength. Rebound is definitely a great exception to go with the 
take away from the other team's defensive, and you know the effort is going to be a hard one. So she definitely needs to try something else to try to avoid it from getting attacked a lot. And yes, the offensive foul was on the dream. It was too much news. They've got to slow that one down. Now back to play. Only two minutes remaining with the dream ball. Here's Jones. Pass to Gray. Jones. Now we'll be here. Here's Bowers. Bonner defending. Here's Coffee. Great D that time from Alyssa Thomas. The Sun leading. And you want versatility, Alyssa Thomas will bring it. She's finished in the top five in rebounds and assists. And you throw in two, and she's one of the better defenders in the league. And Thomas gives you playmaking, rebounding, scoring as well. An incredibly valuable player for this team. And a former rookie of the year, Alicia Gray, a capable scorer with a well-rounded game. I'd love to realize that she might not be too hard to score, score, but she is still incredibly tough to contain. She's everywhere. No buckets yet in the game for her. What's so impressive about Jawan Bonner and her consistency? Well, Jawan had entered the leagues all the way back in 2009. And every single year, she's averaged double figures. A key player on title teams. What a career for Bonner. She's still going to start. Three, two shots. Shoot two. First one falls for her. And when you talk about veterans aging gracefully, Dewana Bonner really stands out. Still such an effective player, she hasn't had one season where she averaged less than double figure points per game, just continuing to get it done. She's perfect for Milan this time. But she made an immediate impact in her first year back in 2009. Bonner won six Woman of the Year during her rookie campaign. She also won the WNBA Championship with Phoenix. Pass to me here. Jones outside. Out to Gray. Shot clock at five. Jones. She's covered by Jefferson. Nailed for three point land. What a confident jumper by Jones. She's put work into becoming more consistent with her jump shot. Stop Jefferson. Guarded by Jones. They grab their own miss. Goes up again. Scooped up. Outside Powers. Has to a knee here. Back to Powers. Here's a knee here. Shoots over Jones. A knee here shot is off. outside. Now here's Jones. She's covered by me here. Now Bonner. Faked in off the glass. There's so many ways she can score. Bonner can operate in the paint. Her physical abilities help with that. Here's Jones. That's the end of the first quarter. Can I get some? 17. Big Atlanta Dream. 15. You ever had a shot that big, Tim? Look, she was calling for the ball and was just dying to take that shot. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. The Sun on top. They lead by two. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Close game, now entering the second quarter. 
And guys, what's your take on the sub so far? There hasn't been a lot of settling for outside shots really early on. Yeah, they've done a good job to work it low and not take the easy way out on offense. No shortcuts. Found it low. Atlanta trailing here. Pass to Charles. She's covered by Thomas. She nails it in. We're tied up. That assist got a little nod from her teammate after the bucket. Here's Harris. And here's Egbo. Now Harris. Pass to Thomas. Basket counts. Covered by Thomas. It's stolen by Alyssa Thomas. Mitchell outside. And now Egbo, guarded by Charles. Now here's Egbo. Not a lot of room. Down to five on the shot clock. Now here is Canada. Tight defense on her. Pass to Gray. And she uses the glass on the layup. Well, you really got to knock Gray to get her off the first shot. I mean, she's just got incredible focus. Now here's Thomas. Bam. That's in there. And Tessa Thomas with the assist. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Now here is Canada. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Left side Howard. Clock at six. Outside Charles. And again, the dream score. She's really one of the best passing bigs in the league. Charles had a year where she averaged just about four dimes per game. Now, time to up in the second. Since being instituted in 2021, the Commissioner's Cup has added a second trophy to the WNBA season. And I really have enjoyed it. A single game final that adds the spice of the regular season. Of course, Las Vegas, the first team to do the double win the Cup and the WNBA Finals back in 2022. That bonus money sure has been great for players as well. I just think it's been a huge win all around. You know what's interesting right now here in the title? It's out there playing some a lot of great ways to have a win. More than anyone that has the game here for the WNBA, this is what happens. All the time happens, you know? It's just what they usually get. I, I sure do. I mean, this might be what their take is. I mean, all that probable perception, they are really doing so well. And just get that one into the point. You have a lot of it the way you came here down. You got a lot of it what you have to go through. It's amazing. Don't forget, we got a halftime show coming up here later after the first half is concluded. We'll show you what's going on between Atlanta and Connecticut. This is a close range in there, but we have to find out what happens here. I'm sure do. I think this close matchup might be the only way to determine what their rate is. You'll find out soon enough. Head back to Blake on the court. See you later for the halftime show. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in this second quarter. And the play stops. Oh, this ball on the first leg of the screen. It's the idea of the second screen of that play, it was the oh, good idea, the right idea, but the execution was not. Yeah, you really want to set a hard screen, but you also want to make sure it's a legal one. She's covered by Thomas. Pass to Gray. Swiped it away. And the Sun pushing it up now. Here's Bannon. Thomas with the ball. Can't 
connect from short range. Quarter number two and around three minutes gone by. Back to Gray. Charles, she's started by Egbo. Charles, yeah. well, Tina Charles is more than capable of connecting from mid-range. The defense has to respect her jumper. Pass to Egbo. Got it! Good job in the low post. And her defender straight into that screen to open up the lane to the hoop. Outside Charles. Gray outside. Jordan, Canada. That's something to put in. To the middle. Here's Egbo. Off with the layup. And when you talk about center Queen Egbo's game, what stands out to you? Well, I would say her shot blocking, Blake. In college, she proved that she was an excellent rim protector. And now in the WNBA, she wants to continue making an impact on defense. Charles missing. The D did a good job of clogging the middle once she got inside. Here's Carrington. Nice to get air from Ryan Howard. And so here's Atlanta. From 11 feet away. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. To the paint. Egbo gets the bucket. Once Egbo got positioning inside, it was all over. The dream on offense. They trail by three. Great, that's good. Time out, time out. Yeah, late reaction to the defense. Time out. Very good start. Now a timeout called by Connecticut. Blue wants a t-shirt. Axel Hawks. Mitzvah. 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 Mitzvah.
Bonner sees things on the court that other players simply don't. Now here's Jones. She has five. Howard with the ball. Jones right side. Shoots over Jefferson. And there's another one for the tree. Well, inside the perimeter, Jones is a skilled scorer. Just look at the touch right there. Pass to Bonner. Jones. Jefferson with it. Guarded by Howard. Three second violations. Three second violation. Oh, oh. Substitution on the court. And here is Jones. She has seven. Left side, Howard. Officials are getting together and they may want to review this one. And we are not going to halftime just yet. Officials signaling they are going to the official play is the under And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus. Uh, I think she got it off in time. The replay, it leaves little doubt. But certainly, it's worth being certain. And that's why we have replay, to get these big calls right. Absolutely. Let's get these calls right in our game. But you always want to get every ball right. Glad we were able to review that one. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Dream out in front, up by three. And we'll be back with you shortly. All right, time for the halftime show. Take a look at the first quarter. It's a little back-to-back -back switch out there, but how do you feel now about this one here, Tyler? Your take for the Connecticut Sun. You know, they're playing really well. The offense is turning like it's a great way to change things up. Not for anybody's game that's going to like try to keep on things going. But it's not really easy enough of how they did. They're playing really well, keeping the eye on the prize. And now for your take here for the dream. Well, the dream is just putting a back and forth in between. Trying to work out of their way in the first quarter, but this is not going to change things up. I'm hoping there's a great uh, opportunity to come back, Riley, and we'll hope we'll see how he gets. And that's going to do it here for the halftime show. Now I'm send you back to court to Blake. See you all later for the postgame show. Start of the third quarter here after a closely contested first half. We've seen Howard really having a great game. Her decision making simply flawless today. Nothing but quality shots from her in the first half. She wasn't forcing anything. Yeah, but I think here in the second half, they may want her to be a little more assertive and start taking more shots, even the tough ones. And now, the start of the second half, neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. And a great assist by Jordan Canada, and that one falls in. Well, the defense is right there to try and stop Howard, but she keeps her composure and puts it up and in. The top pick of the 2022 draft, Ryan Howard had no issues adjusting to the pro game. Well, in addition to winning Rookie of the Year, Howard was also named an All-Star, scoring 16 per game, and just a great personality, a fantastic addition to the league. Now here's Howard, back to Charles. Outside Canada, six to shoot, here's Gray. And it goes as the official calls the foul, count it, and shows you one more at the line. Okay, so we've seen WNBA players for the entry and WNBA players. So who do you guys think will make a great future GM? Well, there's so many great options, but I think Kelsey Plum would be a great GM. You watch her play, and it's easy to see that Kelsey has an off-the-charts basketball IQ. Great pick. Neko Agumake stands out to me. Has done a great job negotiating with the players union, so you know she's got that part of the job down. trailing.
and a minute played as the second half gets going. Pass to Thomas. Bonner. I love the use of the team. Bonner grew up in a hoops game. I think she goes with hoops like that. And this is her second trip to the line tonight. One drops. Expecting now to be a provider to get that one right back into work. You know, our business is not really turning what they're expecting it to. Yeah, yeah, you can say what happens here for Dwayne and Bonner that has a lot of career and it's better to performance up for. It's gonna be like a little take on it to get through. And good on both. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Atlanta in the lead. Outside Howard, pass to Charles, Canada, Howard, Bonner defending, to the inside, from 11 feet away, and again the dream scores. She's up to her usual trick, shooting it well, scoring a lot of points, getting them in front. Thomas outside, here's Harrington, the three. Collected by Tina Charles. Now here is Canada, covered by Harris. Pass to Charles. Gray. It's stolen by Carrington. And the Sun pushing it up now. Now here's Harris. She's guarded closely. And stolen by Canada. To the paint. It's in. Basket number six for her thus far. She's missed only two shots from the floor. Just like the coaches drew it up. Easy hoop. Great with the perfect feet. Now here's Bonner. She has six. And the layup is good. She has done a ton to help this team. But uh, if they're going to come back, she needs to do even more. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's Howard. No good off the back of the rim. Well, she didn't have a hand in her face, so I thought she was for sure going to bury that. Close one. Jordan Canada with the block. Fast break. Here come the dream. The tray. The one of honor with the rebound. You can tell she thought that triple was going to fall. She's just shaking her head after that miss. Stolen by Gray. It's tipped. It's stolen by Alyssa Thomas. Bonner outside. She gets it in there. There is no quit in Dewana Bonner. She takes pride in going up with strength and finishing through contact. Now here's Gray. Ten points for her. That's too good a luck to pass up there, despite the result. Pass to Bonner. Thomas outside. Here's Harris. Just five on the clock. Howard with the rebound. She can't get anything to drop. And the way she's going, it's probably not something she should try to, to shoot her way out of. And I'm sure her teammates would agree with that. You know, the last thing they want to see her doing is shooting it. Here's Gray. Two in the drought. Pass to Canada. Fires for three. It's rebounded by Alyssa Thomas. The Sun on offense. Six-point game. Playing overseas, Alyssa Thomas is leading 
2023 Defensive Player of the Year in Europe. Well, you know, her all-around offensive game gets a lot of headlines, but Thomas is a menace defensively, especially just her smarts. Her defensive IQ is off the charts. Now, here's Charles. Two minutes in the third quarter. Two minutes. She's covered by Thomas. It's stolen by Carrington. Alicia Gray with a defensive effort. Get it off, get it off. She's covered by Thomas. Smell called on the shot. He's got her on the way up that time. So it goes on with Thomas. At the line for the three. Number 32. They got a line for two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Substitution old four, they get out of good side. Shots good from the strike. Mitchell with it. She hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Alicia Gray with a defensive effort. Atlanta with the ball. Six point lead. To the middle. Count that as a seven field goal with 10 tries. She's shooting a nifty 70%. She's having one of those days where if she takes it, she makes it. Here's Bannon. The on the wing. Mitchell outside. Four on the clock. Over great. Jones pulls it down. Pass to Coffee. She's started by Aiko. And here's Powers. Who's over Barn? This is the wing jumper. The shot was there for her. She had to take it. And I don't care if she didn't convert. She should take it again next time. And that one's good. Another bucket from Bottom. She just scored and opens up the court so much for her teammates. Gray outside. A three ball. That's the end of the first one. A lot of trees. 47. Three. And then it gets up. 41. When we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Slice the deep wide open with this feed. They really had no chance to prevent this basket. Yeah, it was a great read of the defensive setup and also wonderful anticipation of the movement of her teammates before the pass. We will welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. It's Tiffany Mitchell on the wing. And the three ball is good. And when Mitchell's threes are falling, she's nearly unguardable. There's just so much you have to account for. Outside powers. Canada, she's covered by Jefferson. to Powers, pass to Coffee, shoots over Thomas, Coffee, no good, the Sun trailing, Bonner outside,
Green with the rebound. They've led by as much as 10. Outside Canada. Guarded by Jones. Up top, Coffee. From the line, hold the shot a little yeah. left, but the bounce goes away. Well, when you're an effective mid-range scorer like Nia Coffee, you do not hesitate in taking these shots. Jefferson with it. Picked up by Canada. Now Mitchell. Bucket is good. Very high quality shot. Can't get enough of those. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half of this fourth quarter. Outside Canada. Coffee right side. Nine feet out. And she drops that one in. Well, that's, that's where Coffee good. can do the most damage. She's working inside. She has a deep back. Jefferson outside. But they recover it. Knocked loose. And good that time. I'm out for the dream. A little bit of close range out there. The sun is just trying to climb back in. But we'll take a quick break when we come back after this. The WNBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by U.S. Bank. The official car provider of the NBA and WNBA. And by Nike. Winning isn't for everyone. Close game so far. As right now, the, the Land Dream up by three. But the Connecticut Suns may have an answer back already. What do you think of this one? I gotta say, now that the Connecticut Suns are just trying to like catch them up right now, you know, the Suns not really just expecting to play like this, but the Dream, they are just like flying by. And they're not really just like trying to play you off. I mean, I know it's a pick on big screen. They're just doing a lot of them as they can. Hopefully, by then, we get it going. Now we'll get right into this one here. The close game under five minutes. And get back over to play. Atlanta in the lead. Outside Howard. Over Carrington. Howard can't get it to go. She kind of short armed that shot after doing a nice job of getting open. Harris with it. Picked up by Canada. Bonner outside. Top ball that time on the way up. And now we have a team chances as a first person of our team's first. If you bail out Bonner on jump shots, she's going to make you pay. She's an efficient free throw shooter. Dewana So she makes both from the line. Atlanta with the ball. Deflects the pass. Canada, covered by Harris. Right wing. Here's Charles. Pass to Coffee. Launches a three. Connects from three point range. Quick release for Coffee to get the shot away. Those catch and shoots can be deadly. Thomas outside. Fast 
Frick, here we go. And stolen by the one of honor. Now here's Carrington. Shoots over Coffee. And it's Carrington missing. Coffee outside. Pass to Canada. Fires it. They get it again. Coffee outside. Outside Howard. Bangs home the trifecta. Well, Howard is a skilled three-point shooter who has worked very hard to develop her consistency. And the Sun told him here. And the Sun said they saw their team giving up a lot of points and wanted to get a break before it got out of hand. And that's a big part of a coach's job, making sure you keep your players in the best position possible at all times. That's a great time out. Looks like that the dream is already up by seven points, but this may not be what their day is. Mm -hmm. I guess I know. I mean, what they are doing, it wasn't really easy enough for the Sun to get right into work. You know, almost the same color, just like the Phoenix Suns used to be, but it's not really like an easier take that they're trying to do. They have to find an way to try it, and if you don't do it correctly, you're going to have a tough time trying to get it over it. Here's some upcoming games here for next week, as we have is two more games to get going. We have the Washington Mystics, and they are facing against the Indiana Fever at the Game Bridge Fieldhouse. And by all we have is the Minnesota Lynx, and they are facing against the Sparks at Crypto.com Arena. That'll be all games here, only on Senate Feast. Keep your eyes peeled on WNBA. We're down to three minutes to go. Let's hope that the Connecticut Sun get another basket. Back to you, Blake. Here's Harris. Thomas. Tipped away. Now here's Charles. Outside Canada. Back to Charles. Bonner defending, unable to get that one to go. Connecticut trailing. Here's Harris. Pass to Thomas. And that's collected by Tina Charles. Outside Canada. Sun on offense. They get the rebound. And Jones gets the go. Such a difficult player, Jones. Time out, let him drink. To the moments, ready to deliver. And the dream call time here. Yeah, coach wants to get everybody on the same page after an easy chase. Jumps some things as well. Yeah, that's probably a good time now. You might as well talk things through. And kind of change that game plan as well. Both teams have one timeout remaining. They're in a two-minute mark. Will this be a Connecticut Sun to get a close game? Or will Atlanta keep it out? Let's find out what takes on. Here's Canada. Three friends. Okay, two minutes remaining in the fourth, two minutes. Defense, defense, defense. On the outside, two silver barn. The dream again can't hit. The sun on offense. Inside, Thomas gets it to drop, and she's now shooting at a five-three clip. A competitive, passionate player. Thomas fires her team up and keeps them ready for big moments. I love that about her.
the violation symbol. Oh, 
He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop for him. Pass to Charles. For the win! Oh, oh my God. That's the end of the game! Your final score, Sun 61, and Atlanta Dream 59. And so many times we see these tight games one at home. That advantage, I think, played a factor here. And that's a wrap, everyone. With Blake along with Tim and Brian. Thank you for watching. So long, everyone. one an upset and this is why the Connecticut Sun made a comeback switch. This was not easy at all. You know, the, the tough feeling about Atlanta Dream, they're just trying to like make this one a lot harder than they take. You know, shots are like a disappointment and they're improving the difficulty range. They're just trying to make it clear of shots to get right into this. It's not always accountable when you really want to do. You gotta play it like when you did. But that was just unbelievable. The Connecticut Sun, they finally made their way back. Here's how they did with the total statistics. 45% for the Land Dream free pointers. And it was 88 free throws for Connecticut Suns with 10 fast break points. Ben, 42 points in the paint. Ben, 10 and 18 second chance and bench points. While Atlanta Dream only had 23 assists on the other side. 7, 20 and 7, offensive, defensive, and a steal. Only one block for Atlanta Dream. There was a couple turnovers in between, but the only one had made over it, and points off was even. Team fouls was only Connecticut Sun, with the 10 biggest lead of the game, and 1507 was a time possession for Atlanta Dream. What a game. Now, let's just say this. I think the free star players of the game is going to be a hard takeover. All right, I, I'll give it up to you, Tyler Beast. Your, your thoughts? for three-star players of the game. Okay, thank you very much. Now it's time for the third star. As we get started up across from here, we've got a great situation. And this one goes to Ronnie Howard, who had 13 points with one rebound and two assists. He only, only had gotten a five out of 10 field goal range to take it over. Three pointers were not bad at all to take over in between. And just how she done it, with 17 performance the effort, she knew that was a hard way to do this. But not all that happens, it just gotten pretty out of the way. She done it all of what she can, I mean, come on, gotta give uh, enough credit to the re Bernie Howard. That'd have to be a lot of change off with a difficult way to have it. Just play what you can. Number two, as I go over to the other side, we have is Jenny Parker Titus. Number 24 minutes on the court and only 16 points in the game with 5 rebounds, 1 steal, and 3 assists. Only 3 out of 12 field goal range she had made. No 3 pointers were given here. Only 23 performance effort was a finish to it last. And your number 1 star goes to Dorina Bonner. 18 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, 6 out of 9 field goals. No care about the 3 pointers but only the free throws that she has been concentrating on after the foul was picked up on Atlanta. 27 performance effort was an incredible way to make the finish. And that was how you finish for Dwayne of Honor for the Sun team. And you know what I mean? That is just how hard that gets there. Well, that's it for now. The Sun wins the first part of the game over beating the Atlanta Dream a close game, 61-59. Stay tuned for the next game. We have a couple more games to go as we got another matchup. The Mystics versus the Fever. And finally, the Lynx against the Sparks at Los Angeles. With Tess Tube along with Tyler, this has been a presentation of the WNBA on 2K Sports. Peace out for a while as the WNBA regular season of 2K Sports style. Have a great day, everybody, and don't forget to subscribe to his channel. If you don't, somebody will. And also follow me on the media at Lime Gear 2. We'll see you all again next time. Adios, everyone! If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.